The debate is on amongst Mountaineer Nation. On one side, you have the traditionalists who want the team to wear nothing but gold and blue. And on the other side, you have the people who like to change up the uniforms. Let's get exotic. Let's wear gray. Let's wear black, which is the topic of today's show. So stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive, where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. What is up? Welcome in. Bill yourself up to the bar. Make yourself comfortable and let me serve you up this shot of top shelf college football content. You have found yourself on another edition of Coos's Corner. If you're new here, do not change that dial because I serve up top shelf news and analysis about the West Virginia Mountaineers, the Big 12, and conference realignment. If you like any of that, this is the channel for you. So stick around, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get on with the show. Yesterday, or a couple days ago, I guess, don't remember the exact date now, but nonetheless, on an episode of Ears Nation podcast, Country Roads Confidential, with Mike Casaza and Chris Anderson, they announced that West Virginia will unveil new uniforms, new football uniforms for the 2024 football season. They will be unveiled at the spring game. And as a bonus, and this is what has all the Mountaineer Nation talking on Twitter, talking on X, they have unveiled that they will wear a black uniform against Penn State. Now, these black uniforms, to my knowledge, have not been revealed yet online or anything. But they – there have been some mock-ups put out. I'm going to show a mock-up that Irrational did. If any Mountaineer fan out there follows Irrational, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Very popular Twitter account, X account, whatever you call it. But here's a mock-up he did to kind of give us an idea of what it might look like. You see the all-black uniform, the gray lettering, black helmet, gray lettering. Now, the traditionalists out there, they're up in arms about it. They're up in arms about this. They don't like the idea. If you're watching this, you may fall into that category. But a lot of people don't. And I'll give you my opinion in just a second. There's also this one, which shows Garrett Green. I guess it's the same uniform, but he has a shirt pulled all the way down, has the socks up, and this is actually in, in action. So this is pretty cool. Again, not sure if this is exactly what it's going to look like, but, man, if you picture it. It's a night game at Mountaineer Field. It's a sold-out game. Could be one of the biggest crowds in Mountaineer Field history. You have Penn State coming to town who will likely be a top 20, if not top 15 ranked team in the preseason. Heck, they could be top 10. Who knows? They're coming to town. They're going to be wearing white. All white, maybe even. They had a white out last year. Well, it was almost a white out. They, I think they called it the stripe or whatever. Well, they had one section on each side with blue. But it was pretty much a white out, or close to it. This would be West Virginia's counter to that white out. Could it be a blackout? I don't know. They haven't really announced the, the theme. A lot of fans are calling it a coal rush. And Mr. Golden and Golden Blue Dude, the late great Golden Blue Dude, the, the one who inspired me to start a YouTube channel. He is going to he's going to be smiling down about this because he wanted this to happen. Now, if they do some kind of entrance with the coal mine theme, turn all the lights out and, and stuff like that, he's going to be dancing in his grave, man, because that's what he wanted. He also wanted better interest music. We may not get that, but we'll see. But, man, with all the lights out in the stadium at night, Penn State in white, West Virginia in all black, man, I think it's an I think it could be an absolute home run. I think it's going to be an awesome atmosphere. The fans may all be wearing black. Man, that excites me. I think it's really cool that they're doing this. And let me explain why I like this. A couple of reasons. I know, the, I know Golden Blue's the callers. But hear me out here. If you're one of the people who like the gold and blue, hear me out. And maybe I won't change your mind, and if that if I don't, that's okay too, but I at least want to give you my, my side of this. Number one, 
the players like this kind of stuff. The players love changing the uniforms. They love showing off the uniforms. They like looking looking cool. They like looking suave. They like whatever the word you want to – what's the word these days? Bougie? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hip words are today. It changes week to week. But they like all of that stuff. And at the end of the day, that's who you got to keep happy, other than the donors, obviously, and the fans, but the players. And if, if it helps recruiting, there will likely be a lot of recruits in town for that game. It will be awesome. Number two, money. We all talk about how we want West Virginia to remain relevant in, in this, and keep it seated at the quote-unquote big boy table in college football. In order to do that, they have to make money. What happens when you unveil new uniforms? You, you sell more merch. You know why? Because they make merch to go along with those uniforms. They might make a replica jersey for fans to buy. Speaking of jerseys, shameless plug here. You can go to the Fanatics link in my description box. Get yourself a West Virginia NIL jersey with your favorite player's name on the back. I'll make a small commission. The player gets part of the profits. But back to the show. You make a replica jersey of that. You make shirts. You make hats. You make all of these different types of merchandise to go along with that theme. You sell more merchandise. And what West Virginia is one of the top teams in the country when it comes to selling merchandise. Capitalize on what you're good at which is selling merchandise. And every time a new uniform is unveiled, it's a different and new merch opportunity for this program. So to me, that's also a really good reason. And reason number three, the PR. They get to, This is all being talked about on social media. It gets the fans excited. It gets the fans talking. It gets social media engagements. That also helps recruiting. That also helps to keep West Virginia relevant, keep West Virginia in the conversation on a national scale. Social media is here, and it's not going away, and it's the wave of the future. It matters today, folks. And West Virginia, again, one of the top in the country in social media engagements. And unveiling new uniforms is another way to keep the conversation rolling about West Virginia Mountaineer football. So, to me, there are three legit reasons right there, and, and there's a fourth one. I just think it flat out looks cool. As a fan, that's just my personal opinion. I know some people don't agree, and that's cool. That's what makes the conversation fun because we don't have to agree. We can all respectfully disagree, but I'll be honest, I'm, I'm on the side that thinks it's absolutely freaking cool. My, my guy Mountaineer Paul did a live stream about it yesterday. I think he used the headline Back in Black. They could even play, play Back in Black as the entrance song to this game. Play Fade to Black by Metallica, like he mentioned. There's a lot of th cool things you could do with this theme. But anyway, you let me know what you think because you may disagree with me. And if you do, that's fine. Do you like the idea of a black uniform against Penn State? Do you think they just need to stick with old gold and blue? How about this? What if they have black uniforms and have maybe a gold trim around the white lettering or gray lettering? I want to hear what you think. Also, VIP member shout outs to this show. Roy Harrison, Matthew 1981, Heath Stokes, Hall of Fame College Football, who also has his own channel, by the way. Go check it out. If you want to join this club, hit the join button below. There are two levels. You see them on the screen right now. There are perks that go with each level. You can become a member of that club, and it's a way, an easy way to support my show and, and what I'm doing here. Also, want to remind you, West Virginia fans, if you want to subscribe to The Holler, which is the subscription service where you get behind-the-scenes content over at West Virginia Sports Now, run by Mike Osta, Ethan Bach, and others, if you use the promo code COOS at checkout, you get a 40% discount on your Holler subscription. Instead of paying $34 for a year, you get it for $21 for the year. It's a one-year subscription for $21. Only if you use promo code COOS, it's a special offer to those who watch my show. So take advantage of that offer today and get behind-the-scenes content that are, that's only available to the Holler members over at West Virginia Sports Now. If you want to check out another video about West Virginia Mountaineer football, watch this one right here. Have a top shelf day. And like Charles Wesley Godwin says, Q Country Roads, baby. <laughs>